Ever wondered how something as heavy as a plane manages to stay in the sky? It all comes down to four main forces at play, lift, thrust, weight, and drag, and an important concept called the angle of attack. So, how do these forces work together to keep planes airborne? Let's start with lift, that magical upward force generated by the wings. As a plane moves forward, air flows over and under the wings. Here's where Bernoulli's principle kicks in. The air moving over the curved top of the wing speeds up, creating lower pressure compared to the higher pressure below. The result? An upward force that defies gravity. And there's also Newton's third law in action. When the wing pushes air down, the air pushes back up, contributing to that lift. Now, thrust is what propels the plane forward, generated by engines or propellers. Without thrust, there's no airflow over the wings, and without airflow, there's no lift. The stronger the thrust, the faster the plane goes, boosting the lift needed for takeoff and flight. But it's not all smooth sailing. Weight is constantly pulling the plane down. Lift needs to counteract this downward force for the plane to stay in the air. How do pilots manage this? By carefully distributing the plane's weight and making adjustments during the flight to maintain balance and stability. And then we have drag, the force that resists the plane's forward motion. Think of it like the wind pushing against you when you run. The shape of the plane and the smoothness of its surface help reduce drag as much as possible. Now let's talk about the angle of attack, or AOA. This is the angle between the wing's cord line, that's an imaginary line from the wing's leading edge to its trailing edge, and the oncoming air. A good angle of attack ensures that lift is maximized. But here's the tricky part. If the angle gets too steep, the airflow can separate from the top of the wing, causing turbulence and a sudden drop in lift. That's called a stall, and pilots need to correct it quickly. To keep a plane flying smoothly, lift has to match weight, and thrust has to beat drag. Pilots are constantly adjusting thrust, the angle of attack, and using control surfaces like ailerons and elevators to keep everything in balance. Takeoff is where it all comes together. Pilots increase thrust and tweak the angle of attack to generate enough lift to leave the ground. In cruise mode, it's all about fine-tuning for maximum efficiency. Wings play a big role too. Their shape, or airfoil design, and even their aspect ratio impact how much lift and drag they create. Long, narrow wings work great for high-altitude flights, while shorter, wider wings make for more agile maneuvering. And those flaps and slats you see extending during takeoff and landing? They help increase the wing's curvature and surface area, creating more lift at slower speeds. So the next time you see a plane soaring above, remember it's all about the delicate dance of these forces and a bit of aerodynamic magic that makes flight possible.